Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is July 23rd, if I am not wrong, and I am right here at the heart of Philadelphia, right here on the Skugu River. Let me give you guys a view of the river today. Current is going a little bit stronger than usual since we had a little bit of rain yesterday and tide is currently super super low which is not really prime for fishing but uh you know we will make it work right so anyways today is my 88th outing of the year and two things are going to happen in this video okay first thing that is going to happen is my patreon meet and fish event as you guys maybe know or maybe are not aware of, I have a Patreon account where people usually donate to me per month. And I schedule this event maybe two, three weeks in advance, you know, so that folks can come down here for a day, get to meet Extreme Fuller Fishing, talk to me, interact, fish together, and maybe even be in this video if they end up uh, catching some fish. You know what I'm saying? But so anyways, now right now is 8.30 a.m. I have scheduled this event for 9 to 3. I am 30 minutes early. And the second thing that is going to be in this video, we are going to be testing a very interesting bait today. I got with me here the Magic Baby Shed, man, that I got on my mystery tackle box a good long time ago, like two, three years ago, okay? There's no expiration date on this thing, apparently, so it is still supposed to work. I have never tried this type of bait before, you know, like organic, dead, packed baits. So uh, we're going to give it a try today and see if it catches any fish, you know. As a matter of fact, you know what, let's stop wasting time. Let me do the thumbnail of the video right now, right here, like uh, Senko Skipper style, okay? Let me do a thumbnail right here real quick. There we go. That is the thumbnail of the video, okay? Now let me get my stuff set up. We shall hopefully get some fish today. Okay, so it is time of the truth. First, I'm gonna open this package and I'm gonna see how this thing smells like, okay? I gotta sniff, uh, sniff it a little bit. Oh boy, it smells disgusting. Oh my God. It smells kind of like salted, salted shad, man, like salted fish. I don't know. Uh, all right, but uh, okay, so let me get two of these. Okay, maybe smaller ones. There are all different sizes in here, apparently. Let me get two on the, on the smaller side, and I got to hook this on my rod right over here. I'm just going to hook the whole thing on. So let's see, uh, maybe... Maybe we're gonna hook through the mouth. Yeah, I got, oh shoot. Okay, through the eye, that's fine. Through the eye, through the body. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, I mean, that's good. Leave a little opening, you know, so the flavor can kind of come out, right? I got two, I got a high-low rig on this rod right here that I'm using. Check this out, and I'm using a medium heavy rod right here. I just put two pieces of shad on with a casking summer 4000 okay this is the reel that you guys probably saw in one of my recent videos perfect the shad did not fall holy moly something just attacked a school of shad right there in the middle i saw it but damn but anyways this is the cast king summer 4000 right this is my first time using it so hopefully we'll catch some fish on it we got two small shad down there what's up my man you are like the first nice one to come. You. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, My hands are a little bit dirty already, fine, okay? Fine. Name's Michael. Michael, nice yeah. to meet you, Michael. Um, I won the uh, casting rack. So oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff, man. I'm glad to hear. Yeah. So are you ready to do some fishing, huh? Yeah, I haven't been on here for this year yet, so. Gotcha, but, yeah. you, fish, but you fish here before? Once at the... Uh, Philly Fest last year. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was the day. Out. Right, that was the day that I couldn't come. Yes. Yes, yes. Hey, man, get your stuff set up. Man. I got my net here if you needed to, you know. Yeah, we'll eventually talk. I got to set up my second rod. 
Holy mackerel, look at that. Are you kidding me? There's like a school of surface trying to get his own flook. Look at that, coming all the way to the top. Look, and super aggressive too. Look at that. They really think that they can get this own flook. This is crazy. Why don't you go down there and call your cousin, huh? This try bass, huh? Do that for me. There we go. Look at that, huh? Little bluegill comes up. So yeah, guys, I'm using the little uh, magic baby shed right over there, right? But I am scouting out for bait fish as well, right? After all, you never know if this stuff is going to work or not, right? So if that thing doesn't work, at least I know that I got a population of bluegill, the Lepomis macrocutus, right in front of me so I can catch them as bait for cut bait anytime I want, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't really need this guy right now, so I just gotta release it, but at least I know that right here where the oil is coming in, in the river, we got a population of sunfish, you know? So if I need it, they are feeding right over here, right? There's a pipe right over here that I even, you know, told the government that there was a pipe here and nobody believed me that there are things flowing in the river, right? Look at that, clearly flowing from over here, right? But anyways, at least we know there's some sunfish around. Hey, how's it going? Good. Nice to see you again. It's nice been quite a while, you. huh? Yeah. Yes, yes, How nice to meet this you. This is Alwyn. Ah. I'm the one who was in the letter. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Good stuff, good stuff. So you came here to do some fishing, huh? Yeah. Great. Just so you know, there's some sunfish right along the wall if you want to try to catch some sunfish. And of course, we're trying to go for the catfish. Yeah, yes. There's only like four or five people that are going to show up today, so that's good. If you want to talk or do anything, I'll be right here, okay? Excellent. Get something here. I felt a small tap. Maybe, I don't know. If it is something, something very small. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ha-ha, <laughs> little white perch. Oh, look. Yeah, see that? So the white perch are down there, too, if you want to try to catch white perch. What do you got there? We got worms and chicken. Yeah, night crawlers. If you catch some night crawlers out there, I'm pretty sure you're going to catch some white perch. Check this out, huh, guys? Little trout magnet, drop shot with one ounce, all the way out there in the river, huh? And the white perch are biting. How long did it take for you to come down here? Uh, about six hours, six hour drive. Six hour drive? So wait, you came down last night though, right? Mm -hmm. You said? Yeah, and I stayed in the room. Yeah. Oh, you stayed in the room. Gotcha, gotcha. Damn, man, all the way from Erie, huh? Yeah. That is crazy, dude. Well, I certainly hope you catch some fish today, man. <laughs> Me too. All right, man. Yeah, get yourself set up, man. Right. Oh, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. You look, look. The sun, sunfish is looking at it, man. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. The sunfish is looking at it. You got it. You look at that, huh? Oh, hell yeah, you see that? That's what I call side fishing right there, bro. Yeah, nice catch, man. See, N night crawler never fails, right? Good stuff. Right, let's, try let's be quick with this fish here. Perfect, you're good to go. Dude, that was quick. What is the, what is the secret bait of the day? Just, oh, Nightcrawler, huh? Hey, man. Oh, bro. Yeah, that's an authentic Schuylkill River catfish oh, yeah, right the there. Sore. Look at that. Holy cow, dude. Look at the back two of the tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Welcome to Philadelphia, bro. <laughs> all the way from Erie, all right? Yep. Damn, son. Look at that. Damn, man. That catfish is bleeding, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. Boom. Yo, what's going on, man? Give me one moment. Okay, sure. sorry. Let me just light the line all the way down. What's up, bro? Nice to I meet know you. that you don't like your name revealed on social media. Is that correct? No, actually, uh, I think. How do you pronounce it, dude? Jorge. Jorge, right? Yeah. So there's no like, there's no English. No nice way to say it. Okay, just Jorge. Jorge is good for me, though. Jorge is good. <laughs> yeah. You know, some people they change it to George. You know, I, I'm not into I that kind of stuff. Now, because uh, that's. I mean, people just call me whatever. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, nice to meet you, bro. It's finally, yeah, finally, it's been a while, right? I'm pumped, yeah. Sounds good, sounds uh, good, man. Whoa, whoa, give me one moment, give me one moment. That's a catfish right there, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
That was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. That was fast. Yeah, look, that catfish was just right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. First catfish of the day on the cut bait. A small one, but uh, but it counts, right? Oh, yeah. Like a nice, nice one is really five to seven pounds. So this is like a small channel catfish. All right, fellas, first catfish of the day here, little channel catfish. I caught right along the wall where all this dirty water is coming out. Look at that, uh, he's happy, he's gone. And I gotta tell you guys, the baby shed so far is not really working really well. I haven't got a single bite on this rod, so I put a piece of bluegill on this rod to catch that catfish, you know, but uh, hopefully, before we end the fishing session today, we actually gonna catch something on this uh, very interesting type of bait right here. Oh yeah? Oh no! Oh no! So you so you're like a bass angler, huh? Gotcha. What what is like your favorite bass channel on YouTube? It used to be. Yeah. Wait, what happened, man? Why, why, why not my John B anymore? Okay. So, so I mean, bass fishing. Yeah. Which one's like your favorite right now? Right now. Yeah. Bass channel. Okay, so it's got to be like largemouth bass. Have to go say what's one rod. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, one rod, one we're fishing. Okay. Wow, Michael, killing, killing all the fish here in the river, huh? Yeah. Holy oh, moly! You really hooked it in the eye, dude. That's <laughs> savage. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna survive though. I saw, I saw that you did a nice unhooking, you know. So that's good. Hey, still, man, it's a fish. It counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll be fine. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, he's swimming circles. He's swimming circles. He's slowly going away, not going belly up. Oh yeah, he'll be good. He'll be good. He went away. Wait, is that is that a blue? That's not a bluegill, right? No, that's a pumpkin seed. Oh, dude, very good identification skills. Yeah, and that's that's he, a pumpkin seed. He swallowed the hook. Oh, he swallowed the hook. Yeah. Well, maybe he can use it for bait. Uh, what do you think? Uh, it's a pumpkin seed. You know what? You don't mind if I just cut the line, right? Yeah. I will retire for you if you want, but let's just cut the line. It's just that the pumpkin seed are usually so beautiful. I really feel bad using them as bait. Too, but when they swallow the hook, you don't have I to. I gotta throw him back, okay? Let's see if he survives. Let's see. I doubt it. Oh, it's gone. Oh, okay, it's gone. It as opposed to getting it in their gills, mm -hmm. they're more likely to survive. Uh, it's hard to say hard to when say. it comes to this kind of stuff. If you didn't pull the hook by the hand when it's swallowed, yeah. you know, and you just release it, whoa, this is good. good. Right, come on, fish. Come back, he, he's there, he's there, he's there, I think. Oh, he's there. He's over here. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's, uh, it's better than the last one, I think. Uh, it's, about, it's about the same. Look at that. Little channel catfish. Channel catfish are very hard to catch. It's not a cage or oh, something just blow up the Oh yeah? Yeah, catfish is always patience. And they all don't get way to angle a lot. That's true, look at that. Yeah. Holy moly man. Slimy little fish. Okay, there we go, I got it. The way there it goes. Like, yeah, that that's why you gotta take good care. There he goes, perfect. Damn, dude, you is laying, you is laying the smaller ones today, huh? Yeah. Through the eye, holy moly! What's going on with you guys today? <laughs> this is the second fish through the eye today. Oh man! Well, I wish you the best of luck. Oh, you got it! Yep. You got it! Nice, dude! Nice. Okay. Oh, boy. Nah, no, nah, he's good. He's good to go, man. Oh, interesting. You're good, you're good at basketball? Huh. What position you play? Well, did you get it? Did you get something? Oh, you're using eye crawlers? Oh, it's a perch. It's a white perch. Look at that. 
You wanted to catch a white perch, right? Wait, have you ever caught a white perch? In my life, no. So this is your first ever white perch, dude. Congratulations, look at that. Yeah, man, doing a good job on the night crawler right here. It's from, it's a, it belongs to the non-profit, the Schuylkill River. Oh, oh, got one. I got one. Oh, hell yeah, son. <laughs> oh, man, on the drop shot, look at that. Yeah, that's a little, little largey, little largey right here. Pretty dark, pretty dark. Yeah. yeah, little drop shot. Of course, it's gotta be the pink, right, man? It's the pink power, dude. Look at that, huh? Little largey. All right, we gotta take a shot and release it now. All right, people, Dink largemouth bass here on the drop shot, of course, because Extreme Philly Fishing loves rocking the pink. We got release this one. Look at that, huh? Man, it's laying the bluegill over here, bro. Let me tell you something, catching pinfish is an art, man. Not everyone can just go out there and catch the bluegills, I'm telling you. Good stuff. Another catfish for the day. I, I, I saw it, man. I knew it was a little bit more solid. Yeah, look at that. Oh, good old channel cat, man. At least this one got no sores, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, that's a mean looking fish, man. Dude, look at that, all muscles, man. Big head too. That is crazy, man. Good to go on the catfish. Look at that, huh? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know, guys. These have been down there for a good, good while. And uh, no touch. Not a single bite. On the, look, this thing is all dried out. I kid you not. So I guess we gotta throw this out there and I gotta put some pieces of bluegill on, see if we can catch a nice catfish today. Crab? Oh, dude, it's a crab. It's a crab. Come up here, crab. Look at that. I knew it. From the moment that I saw the rod bend, I knew it was a freaking crab. Look at this. It's a freaking blue crab from the Schuylkill River. Oh, easy crab. Easy. Can you believe that these blue crabs come all the way from New Jersey into the Schuylkill River, which is 100% fresh water? This is pretty nuts. Gotta, gotta be careful with these blue crabs. His claw can reach back here. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. He wants, he wants to get the Asian folk, definitely. Don't worry, crab, I'll take a shot. I gotta put you back, okay? So yeah, folks, this is for you to see. We are here way past the salt line okay on the Schuylkill River the salt line is actually Delaware River around Delaware State and you still got blue crabs look at that up in the Schuylkill River this is this is crazy this is 100% fresh water here this is no brackish water you know but anyway say bye bye to our blue crab he's going back to the river look at that look at that it's swimming away look at that huh happy crab Oh, there we go. Come on, get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's on. That was that was a decent hit. This got come on. This got to be bigger than two pounds, man. That was a that was a decent hit. This has got to be bigger than two pounds. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe a three and a half. Please be bigger than two whole day folks out here we've been catching two pounders channel cat you know so this one hit fairly good there's some weight to it let's just hope it is something oh all right not bad not bad not bad look check this out i gotta give you guys a view here when he surfaces if i don't lose him look at that not bad not bad that's a that's a more decent fish 
hit on the head, I think. Oh, got some, got some junk there. Got some junk. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is what I'm talking about right here. That's about three and a half, three and a half, I would say. Come up here. You ain't going nowhere. What is going on with this net, man? All right, that's a little bit more like it. Yeah, dude, the hook came right out or what? I think the hook came right out. Yeah, the hook came right out of his mouth. Look at that. Yeah, now this here is a little bit better, folks. Been catching two pounders the whole day. This is about three and a half, four, I would say. We're gonna take a measure on this guy. Okay, let's do a little weight estimate on this fella. I would say 3.75, 3.75. Let's see, the grip is 0.11. So, all right, we shall, we shall see, 3.75. Ooh, all right, not, ooh, a little bit bigger than that. 4.18 minus 0.11, so eh, four pounds four pounder channel cat that is not bad at all look at that huh that's a beauty from the schoolgo river we're gonna take a shot and then we gotta put him back all right folks final view of our four pounder on the <laughs> on the bluegill head okay because that shad man that shad ain't working so this is what i gotta do i gotta remove the leaper and we're gonna release this bad boy right over here Boom, there he goes. You got something on? Oh, nice. <laughs> right, right into the net, dude. Your mom's the best, dude. Yeah, yeah. there's a fish. I couldn't tell. A little bit I, bigger, huh? I thought I had like a rock or something. Nice, dude. Yeah, your, your mother was just telling me this is like your second catfish ever, huh? Yeah. Well, I caught one before that was like maybe that big. Gotcha. Hey, man, congratulations. Man, we're going to take a shot at that one, all right? Whoa, 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 that's a fish, dude. That's 100% a fish, right? Yeah. It's on? Oh, dude, that's gotta be a fish. I saw that raw band, it did not It did not come back, dude. Yeah, it's a fish. Oh, oh dude. Oh, we will never find out now. Oh, my God. It's all right, dude. Next one. Don't 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 feel too bad about it. Next one. I am not sure when exactly it happens, guys, but we went from a really really cool cloudy morning to a full heat afternoon. I am kidding. Check check this out. Where are the clouds, man? All right, the clouds are all on that side right there, but we got like scorching sun right in front, <laughs> right on top of our faces, right? So anyways, today was a very interesting and very eventful day. Conclusions for the day, right? First and foremost, I would like to say, please do not buy this baby shed magic something, okay? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I am being biased. I have used it only one time in my life today, but it just didn't work for me, okay? I had this rod over here with the Cast King Summer 4000 the whole morning on with that didn't get a single bite okay and when I threw it in the baits were still on as soon as I, sw I switched to the bluegill the cut bait man I started getting bites non-stop right we landed a few channel catfish including that four pounder that was actually pretty awesome you know so that is conclusion number one for this video uh, second thing, right? It was a very cool morning with my fellow Patreonites. I truly appreciate everyone who came out here and did some fishing with me. We had only like five to seven people come out, you know, and that is like the perfect amount, you know, because this ain't no Jake Paulers or Jake Paul, you know. I mean, I like to keep things on the on the low side, you know, peaceful. So five to seven people, I had enough time to hang around with them, uh, get to know them, each one of them, as a matter of fact, you know. We still got two survivors down the river. We got Ian right over there. He's pretty much getting ready to go. And we got Michael on this side right here. All the rest pretty much 
gave up, you know. But we landed a bunch of different species of fish today, okay? Bluegill, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, striped bass, white perch, channel catfish, right? You name it. So it was a very eventful and fruitful day. All right, fellas, I'm calling it a day. After six hours of fishing and no eating whatsoever, I am ready to get some lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, tight lines, fellas. I will see you guys next time.